So ever since middle school, my skin has been shit all the way through university. So for about seven years, my skin has been shit. And then not until the last time I took that picture up until now, so about a year and a half, my skin has finally cleared up. And since you're here, your skin is probably shit and you want to know what I did in that about year and a half to actually clear my skin. And you might be thinking, I found some sort of good product that helped my skin clear up and I use that product and that's how I cleared my skin. But that none of those products, like I tried tons and tons of products, none of those is what actually ended up clearing my skin. All of those different products just complicated it and didn't really help. I mean, they, they had some sort of effect and they do have a place, which I'll get into in a little bit, but they don't actually solve the bad skin problem. So let me tell you how I actually went from having shit skin to pretty good skin and how I use all like the different face washes, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, like retinol, whatever skin products, and how that actually fits in, what works, what doesn't, when to use it, and what I actually do right now to keep my skin clear. And I've broken it up into three different categories so it's easier to understand. You have the tactical stuff first, which is stuff you can do right now and to help eventually clear your skin. The more fundamental stuff, which is more long-term stuff and it'll take a while for you to implement, but is absolutely necessary to actually like solve the root problem of what is making your skin shit. And then the more situational stuff, which is like the different products based on what you're seeing in the mirror, like how your skin is, then what product you can potentially use. But before I get into all those different categories, I think it's good to understand what actually makes your skin bad. So I think everybody, you probably already know this, like what makes your skin bad or what makes the acne come up is oils, dead skin or dirt, like clogging your pores and that's what makes the acne. And I think everybody knows that. And you think like, oh yeah, just get rid of the oils and the dirt and then you have no acne. But that's actually not true because probably most of you have tried like washing your face using some sort of face wash exfoliator and it didn't work. So the second thing that is causing the bad skin and nobody really talks about is that you're probably just living a shit life. And if you think about it, if you're living like shit, like your, your insides are shit, like you're sleeping bad, so you don't really recover, you're eating garbage food, you're not drinking enough water, it'll make your insides kind of shit, like your health is going to be garbage. And if your health is garbage, your skin is the outside of your body, another organ in your body, most likely if your insides are trash, well then your outside is gonna be trash, meaning your skin is, is gonna be garbage. So now you know the actual, like the two root causes and you need to solve both of these to actually make your skin better. So what do you actually do to now solve these two problems? And that's the three different categories that I mentioned earlier. So starting first with the tactical stuff that you can actually do. So this is the stuff that I mentioned you can do right now and it actually targets mainly the first problem of why your skin is shit. It's, it's dirty. And you might be thinking, oh, you probably use some sort of face wash, but that's actually not the solution I had. And I'll tell you why in a little bit or why face wash is or like exfoliate or something like that is not what I use right now. But right, what I do right now is like I wake up every morning, like of course, like I go to sleep and then I wake up in the morning and right in the morning, I pretty much just go to the bathroom and then wash my face with either a cold water or like warm water. And then right after I do that, I like get a clean dry towel and then dry my face and then I'll just go back to my room and then I get some like uh, this this uh, moisturizer right here, this lotion, and then I just put it on my face. And then I go throughout my day and once I go throughout my day, again at night before I go to sleep, I do the same thing again. So I just go to the bathroom, I, I rinse my face off with either warm or cold water and then, you know, dry it off and then again use the, the lotion. So then what I'm doing is of course, I'm using the water to just clean off the dirt from my face and clean off the excess oils. So that targets the first problem of bad skin. But as I mentioned, why do I not just use face wash or exfoliator? Because obviously if you use face wash or exfoliator, it is literally a product made to, to like get the oils and the dirt off so you prevent acne, right? So why not use it? Well, I actually did use it before. It was like literally the face wash of this same exact brand, this lotion here. I used to use the face wash from them. And also I tried some exfoliators and if you don't know what that is, like has like, I don't know, baking soda, some sort of particles in there to like help scrub the dead skin off and supposedly help get rid of acne. But after a while, like I use multiple bottles of like the face wash brand of this. And then after a couple of bottles, my mom came to me one day, I was like, hey, you know, this stuff is really thin. Does it actually do anything? So after my mom said that, I just tried like, huh, you know, maybe this stuff is like, actually doesn't do that much. So I just stopped using it for a while and I, observe like how my skin reacted and I saw that actually like it does do a little bit like it removes a little bit extra more oils but the thing is since it's removing those extra oils it removes a little bit too much and my skin ended up even drier and then if my skin was drier then that triggered a little bit more acne so I just stopped using that and the exfoliators 
I used to use it for a while. Like one time I noticed my skin was like, oh, it's extra bad. I'll try to use exfoliator every single day. And then after like a couple of weeks of using it, I think the exfoliation, like the particles in there actually like damaged the skin slightly, which allowed bacteria to get inside and then actually made my skin worse. So I, I stopped using that stuff. And then I ended up on just using water alone because it's sort of like, hey, if you think about it in nature, you're like those animals out there, like they only wash themselves with water and also ancient humans, they only wash themselves with water. So your body is sort of meant to like, you know, handle the water and it's not too harsh. Like it's a fine balance between washing off just enough oil and just enough like of the dead skin while still keeping your skin moist. And then not to, not to say that like every single animal or like ancient humans, like back in the, when they're living in the wild, their skin was perfect. But you're, you are like 100% for certain, like adapted to handle just water and not, not, not at all adapted to be like putting different products on your face. And I remember like when I was doing research for how to actually clear my skin, there was somebody who posted, I think it was in a YouTube comments, like, oh, I used to try like tons and tons of products. And I went to like dermatologists and all that. And I tried all these products and it never really helped. It honestly like just made it worse. But then one day I just started washing my face with water and oh crap, my skin was better. Like, why did nobody tell me this? So it, it may or may not work for you. And I'll get into like other stuff that you can do later. But I think water is a good starting point. And it's obviously free. Like there's nothing you can really lose here. And it's what I do right now. And has what helped me get to like where my skin is right now. And one other tactical thing that actually happens before all the face washing, before I even wake up in the morning. It is, if you, if you think about it, like I'm waking up in the morning, right? What are you doing right before you wake up? You're, 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 you're sleeping, right? But then your head, where's your head? Your head, where your like bad skin is, is on your pillow. So then if you think about it, like throughout the night, your your head is on there for like multiple, multiple, multiple hours. And if your face is kind of dirty and has like oils overnight, that pillow is gonna build up like excess oils and also dead skin. If you're like rubbing your face on it, like all night, Night, you can imagine like that that's gonna make your your some of your pores clogged up and then cause some acne so what I do right now is I change my pillowcase specifically every other week so every two weeks and there's a reason for that so I'll, I'll change my pillowcase and I'll sleep on it for one week and then I'll just flip it over to the other side and then I'll sleep on it for one week and then I can change my pillowcase and I found that uh, keeps it clean enough and after you know I, I I did noticeably realize that like oh you know when your pillowcase is clean it makes your skin a little bit better. So now you know the tactical stuff to get at the first root cause of what is causing your bad skin. So like it's uh, dirty skin. But then on the second root cause, this is where the fundamental category comes in. And the fundamental category, as I mentioned, is like you're living a shit life. You're probably not getting enough sleep. And if you're not getting enough sleep, you're probably not allowing, having enough time where your skin actually heals. So then that equals acne or you're eating a shit, shit diet so like you're eating a bunch of junk food potentially like chips which if you eat it you'll cause like inflammation it has also like the the garbage oils in it which gets released from your skin clogs your pores and then inflammation and oil obviously will equal the acne or maybe you're not drinking enough and if you're not drinking enough you're dehydrated your skin is dry and then if your skin is dry it's like cracked up and then it releases also releases more oil bacteria gets in there more acne so that obviously means just get enough sleep at the very minimum above six hours i Daily, like seven and a half or nine and then eat a good diet basically you just need to cut out all the junk food and you'll probably be good junk food and sugary drinks and then the third thing is drink enough water is uh, i heard this from andrew huberman you can follow it or you can uh, not follow it but if you drink about 10 ounces of water for every hour that you're awake so that's like if you wake up in the morning and then you go to sleep, that's something like maybe 14 hours or a little bit more that you're awake, maybe 16 hours. And, and you can stop drinking like right before you go to sleep because then if you drink right before you, you probably have to like go to the bathroom. But I'm not going to walk through the math right now, but essentially you probably drink about four liters a day and, and it'll probably vary a little bit based on weight, but you drink about four liters a day. And if you think about like the two, ga uh, two liter soda bottle, you just like drink two of those of like probably water or tea or whatever you like to drink every single day. And that's should be enough to keep you hydrated. And you don't necessarily have to get like exactly 10 ounces per an hour. You can you can drink it in bulk. That's that's completely fine. And, and also backed by science. And, and you can do more research if you want to know. So I, of course, also do those things because, you know, if I don't drink enough or if I start eating a bag of chips, 
I 100% notice within a couple of days, my skin will be bad. Like some pimples will be popping up or especially like if I have a day where I only sleep like three hours, literally the next morning, I have a pimple popping up. And if you do that over and over and again, well then like one pimple, two pimples, three pimples and oh shit, your whole face is filled with garbage, right? And then one last thing, one last fundamental thing and most people may not agree with this or like feel offended by this or something like that, but it's no fab. Through experience, literally through experience, every single time I fab, a couple of days later, one pimple popped up without fail. I fab twice in like a week, two pimples will pop up. I fab three times, three pimples will pop up. So I just don't do it anymore. Forgetting all the benefits of no fab, if you believe it or don't believe it, I found for myself that no matter what, like without fail, if I fab, there's gonna be a pimple. So for, for that reason alone, I, I, I don't fab because I'd rather have good skin and you know, fapping doesn't really do anything good. And if it makes my skin bad, well then I don't, don't need to do it. But uh, up to you obviously. So that will solve the second root cause of shit skin. And then with that, I think, so if you do the hectic stuff and you just do this fundamental stuff, after about three or so months, you'll 100% start to notice a difference. But then there might be times, like you look in the mirror and like the acne is particularly bad, like you see a really bad pimple. And that's where the situational stuff comes in. So like, this is where the actual products fit in. To sometimes treat the symptom depending on the situation. But it's of course not gonna solve the first two root causes. But I just wanna talk about all the different products then. So you have the three main products that most people talk about and it's like relatively easily accessible is benzoyl peroxide, uh, you have salicylic acid, and you also have uh, retinol. So for salicylic acid, uh, this is like some the same brand, like salicylic acid lotion that I use every once in a while. So if you notice like an acne popping up, but it's not quite like a, like it doesn't really have pus in it yet, like just a little red little bump there. I find that if you put the salicylic acid on, it might help just clarify it or like maybe remove the oils or dead skin in there and, and help it like solve itself out before it gets worse and starts like building up pus and stuff. But then once it starts building up pus or it comes to a whitehead or maybe actually like, you know, has pus in there, you popped it. That's where like the benzoyl peroxide will come in. You just take some of this, this is like a, a like a gel or whatever. You just take a little bit and you like, you can put it on there. And what it does is kill bacteria. So like, of course, once it pops or like if it's really bad, like a really big inflamed one, you can put it on there and kill some of the bacteria, which will of course either help it heal if you already popped it, or if it's really bad and maybe not popped yet, it could actually just kill the bacteria and it'll start to solve itself. And the third thing, like retinol, I, I don't have it right now. I have it in like the bathroom, but this one, even though most people like to say this is like, oh, like the best thing for acne. I found, or based on also my research, I don't really think it actually helps acne in itself. What it does is like, once you put it on there, it's vitamin A and actually sort of helps your skin turn over more, like start to like renew. So the main use for it is like after you have a pimple and you popped it and now there's like, it's healed over and there's like a little dark spot or like a scar, then you can take some of that like retinol and then put it on there and then it helps the skin turn over more and of course if it turns over more then that like scar will will eventually clarify faster than it would just naturally so those are the main three products and you can use it and of course there's more there's more like you can get like accutane a whole bunch of different pills that you can take antibiotics and those things are kind of extreme but and the reason why i don't tell you to take those and i i actually never use those myself those are things you probably need to go to a dermatologist for and i suppose like if you really went and tried, like you, you went to fix these root problems first and not just try to jump to like, oh, I need to take some pill and try to get my acne figured out. Well, at that point, you're probably going to be only treating the symptom. And then as soon as you're off those pills, like, oh, it's just gonna come back and potentially even worse. But see, if you, you definitely tried all these fundamental and tactical things and also situational and you're still not solved, your skin's still trashed, okay, you know, go to a dermatologist, they can probably help you. Like, I'm not, I'm not telling you that you, you shouldn't have any of the products or anything like that. But I would very much caution away from going extreme and first start with the simplest answer because usually if you can solve a problem, with the simple answer, like, I mean, why wouldn't you wanna do the simple stuff, right? It's easy, it's free, like use water. It's it's literally free. It takes like 10 minutes a day max to just rinse your face off and that'll take the bulk of it. And obviously you wanna eat good and like drink water because even if it doesn't really help your skin, you're like, you're, you're living a better life. Who does wanna live better? Don't troll yourself into thinking that some, some pill is gonna solve your problem, okay? So what I'm really just telling you to do is this is exactly what you can start with. So you can wake up in the morning and of course have your clean pillow sheet and whatever every other week and then flip it over every single week. You wake up in the morning, you rinse off your face and then you moisturize it so, so it's 
nice and moist and doesn't release excess oils to clog up your skin. And then every single night before you go to sleep, same thing, just rinse your face with water. And you can do that for every single day for about three months. And I, I can almost 100% guarantee that within three months, you'll see some sort of improvement, even if it doesn't completely solve your bad skin problem. And also like clean up your diet, drink enough water and sleep good. Continuously, if you're keeping up with those, you can pretty much solve the two root causes of shitty skin. And then also after that, start to review and then add in situational stuff and situational I do mean in this category also potentially seeing a dermatologist and that's pretty much it if that's helpful maybe watch this random video that YouTube is suggesting you right here which could be also helpful or if you really thought this video was helpful I of course plan on continuously putting out helpful stuff based on my experience so you can consider subscribing and hopefully some of those things can give you ideas and get you thinking to eventually start improving more and more by yourself